It's Mike Whitfield here with BodyWeightFinishers.com, and I want to take you through the new and improved Obama Cardio Workout. I'm not kidding. Now, here's the reason why I'm bringing this up. As you may or may not know, there's been a YouTube video that's going around pretty quick because somebody actually secretly taped President Obama doing a workout. Now, at first I thought, hey, there's a man with a busy schedule. He's taking care of business. He's taking care of his body. And I thought, way to set an example. You know, it doesn't matter how busy your schedule is, you can still take care of yourself. But as a certified trainer, I saw some things that kind of disturbed me. And so, Mr. President, I am here to help you out, man. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is your lunch. All right, now in the video, we saw you do something like this. All right, that's not lunging. What that is is just walking funny. So I want to show you a lunge done in two different steps. And it'll help you remember to do a lunge correctly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to step out and then down. So it's two movements. You want to go out and then down. That's how you look at the lunge. So take a nice big step out and then down. And then come back. However, when you come back up, make sure you drive through the heel of the foot just like that and you're looking straight ahead and your upper body is nice and tall okay so that's the first thing now the second thing I want to talk about is that weird upper body back exercise you were doing at least that's what I think it was what I saw is I thought you were excited about the song that was coming onto your iPod or maybe it was your phone but I don't know and I thought you were just getting jiggy with it you know like something like this like you heard something good and you were like but here's the thing is, I saw dumbbells, and that means you're going to wreck havoc on your lower back. And you could possibly hurt your neck doing that, okay? So what I want to do is I want to show you how to work your upper back without even lifting a single dumbbell. What I want you to do is every time you do a lower body exercise, I want you to do them like this. I want you to put your fingers behind your head, okay? And I also want to keep your elbows, I want you to keep your elbows back the whole time. Now, for an example, I'm going to show you a lunge doing this. Okay, down, and then come back up, and then we'll switch legs. Okay, it's going to be tough. It looks easy, but keeping those elbows back is pretty tough, but that's going to work your upper back because I know you're behind a desk a lot, and I also know that you travel a lot. And so that means these muscles here, back here, they're going to get tight pretty quick. And so we want to keep those muscles from getting weak because I don't want you to get the hunch over look. All right? I want you to be proud because after all you're the president so you need to look proud. All right? So that's another fix. Now the last thing I want to talk about is your cardio routine. I saw you on the elliptical there at the end of the video. Now I don't know if you were on it for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. I don't know. But I'm going to show you a different way to end your workout and the good news is it's only going to take four minutes. So that means you're going to have more time to be a president, but more importantly, more time for your family, all right? So here's what you're gonna do is instead of the elliptical, because honestly, the elliptical is a lie. There's been studies that have shown that the calories being burned, that little pedometer, that little display there on your elliptical, it could be off by up to 28%. In other words, you're gonna be burning 28% less calories than what it shows on there. So that's a lot of work for a little bit, or that's, a, you know, that's not great uh, time invested for doing some cardio, right? So instead, there's a study that's showing that this four minute trick that I'm about to show you is actually just as good as 30 minutes of cardio. So you're gonna literally save about 26 minutes. So instead of the elliptical, this is gonna be pure body weight. So do away with the elliptical. Instead, what I want you to do is two exercises. Exercise number one is the total body extension. All right, it's a great non-impact move. So you're gonna put your feet about shoulder width apart. All right, so you wanna start off in a quarter squat, hands behind your glutes. I want you to extend up onto your toes with your arms above your head. All right, so this is what it looks like in slow motion. Now I want you to do them as fast as you can, just like this. Just like that. And I want you to do that for 20 seconds, then rest for 10 seconds. I want you to do this 
four times. All right, so that's going to be two minutes total. Then I want you to go into the mountain climber, but we're going to not do the mountain climbers that you see on TV. We're going to do them at a more moderate pace, and that way we're going to work your abs harder. All right, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to get in the push up position. Okay, hips are low, abs are braced. I want you to bring your knee in and then back. See how I'm taking about a second to come in and a second to come back? I want you to do that for 20 seconds, followed by 10 seconds of rest. I want you to do that four times. And that is your cardio session. I kid you not, you're gonna get just as good of results as you would doing 30 minutes of cardio. So you're gonna literally save 26 minutes, all right? So A, you're welcome, and B, Thank you, Mr. President, for setting an example to America that you can get, take care of yourself even on a busy schedule. All right, we'll talk to you next time.